Hey guys, it's the Hero Hub here for another video. We're doing another How to Kill Heroes, How to Kill Adam Warlock, suggested by Farrell Atala. Sorry if I butchered that name. I'm sorry it took me such a long time to do this. However, the research on this took me a long time to do because I tried to find the easiest way for humans to do it. Obviously with some characters it's not possible, or I just can't figure out how. But anyway, sorry it took me this long. I'm gonna try to get a couple more videos out more consistently now because people are starting to watch them for whatever reason. We also got a thousand views on the Matthew Malloy video, so thank you so much for that guys. I, I woke up and it just went from 900 and whatever to a thousand and I was like yes it had the 1k and I was, I was happy about that so thank you guys very much. But anyway, onto this topic, how to kill Adam Warlock. Okay, so before we try to figure out how to kill Adam Warlock, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on him. Okay, so these four scientists called the Enclave decided they want to try and make the perfect human out of artificial parts and whatnot, um, planning to mass produce them and try to enslave different planets, you know, as an army. However, they accidentally made Adam too strong, so once he was done, he ended up accidentally killing one of the Enclaves, and he decided to leave and went to space to try and find what his destiny would be. Many people actually know Adam Warlock for being one of the few people able to defeat Thanos. During the Infinity Gauntlet storyline, he turned him into stone, which was kind of when he became super popular. Okay, so Adam Warlock is a very powerful individual. His bone and muscle tissue is much denser than humans, allowing him to have superhuman strength and resilience. He also has superhuman strength, stamina and agility, and has even been seen to be able to manhandle Thor, which is a very impressive feat. His cells are also constantly absorbing and storing cosmic energy. With that energy, he can use it for a variety of effects, such as changing his physical abilities and projecting a type of energy out to his foes. He could also use the cosmic energy to negate the force of gravity beneath him, allowing him to be able to fly. He's even been able to fly at speeds of 770 miles per hour, also known as the speed of sound, which is more than many guys in the comics can do. Adam also has energy manipulation, matter manipulation, and the ability to create energy constructs at will. Probably his most known ability is his connection to the Soul Stone. They have a sort of symbiotic relationship with each other. It's planted on his forehead, everyone kind of knows about it. The Soul Gem not only amplified his abilities, but also gave him a few others such as clairvoyance, telepathy, ability to use magic, time travel, and resurrection, which is pretty overpowered. Adam Moloch also has a ton of other abilities um, that I'm just not gonna get into because if I did, this video would be about 25 years long, so we're gonna just leave it at that. If you wanna go check, just Google Adam Warlock powers and there'll be a long list for you to read. Okay, now, though the Soul Stone does give Adam Warlock a ton of new abilities and help him get more powerful, it is also the way we're going to be able to kill him. So, hear me out guys. During the Annihilation Conquest storyline, billions of people were killed all at once. And due to Adam Warlock's connection to the Soul Stone, he managed to feel the pain of those billions of people getting killed at once and all the trauma they went through and all of that stuff. And it messed him up, to be honest. It messed him up so badly that he went into a cocoon to kind of reheal himself and get back to his okay state. However, during the Annihilation Conquest Quasarun, Adam Warlock had to get out of his cocoon early due to a big fight going on. Getting pulled out of his cocoon early was really bad for him. He forgot who he was, how he got there, and all of his powers, and he was really confused in a very weakened state for a little while. So you're gonna have to have a way to kill him once he's in that weakened state. To do that, I would recommend trying all you can to get the quantum bands. The quantum bands are kind of like Marvel's version of the Green Lantern rings. You can create constructs, fly, form shapes, shields, everything you can imagine. They have been shown to be able to restrain Adam Warlock, and even the sword made out of the quantum bands were able to kill the guy. So the plan would be get the quantum bands off whoever has them because if you manage to find them just put them on your quasar if you manage to get the quantum bands you're gonna have to use super abilities and create constructs maybe and place them throughout the universe and get them timed to kill at least a billion people at the same time once the people are killed animal could be in a really confused state right he'll go into hibernation to get away from the pain as he did last time most likely and you're gonna have to get him out of the cocoon with the quantum bands just try and destroy the cocoon. Once he's out, use the quantum bands to create a quantum sword or anything like that, which is what Philofel used when she killed him. Stab him, chop off his head, I don't know, destroy the guy's body, and he should die such as he did last time. And yeah, there you go, you, you killed the guy. <laughs> there we go, I hope that made enough sense. We've killed another hero. <laughs> I don't feel good saying that, you know, start to feel like I'm a villain, but if there's any more heroes or villains you want killed, um, comment down below. I've not done any DC videos yet, so if there's a DC hero or villain you want to try and kill, I'd be down for that, just because it's the hero hub, I want to try and get a bit DC in there as well. And yeah, thank you for watching guys, and I hope to see you in another video. Please like and subscribe, any constructive criticism would be 